Hello, I'm the critic. I remember you didn't have to. Today, we're going to be talking about the history of cartoons. Nobody asked for it, but I wanted to do it. So I say R2-D2 and let's get started. Now, I told people I was going to do called My Life is a Teenage Robot, and I will do that. But first, I need to get this out of the way first before I explain what I'm going to talk about. You see, there are some complications. Everybody thinks Walt Disney was the first guy to make her to move with Steamboat Willie, but he was not. A man named Windsor McKay was. He made something called The Seeking of the... Or the Lessie. The Seeking of, of the Lusitania. Which was a ship that the Japanese sank in World War One. Why am I talking about him? Because to talk about what I'm going to talk about today, I need to get this out. <coughs> now, Winter McKay was a man who mostly made a comic called Little Nemo. Basically, he got fired. He made cartoons. One of them was Gary the Dinosaur from what I could tell was something like Alice in Cartoon Land. Or the old Alice comedy show. Now, what that was, was basically... The Bitsky first original Who Trained Roger Rabbit. Now, you see, with this was a live mixing live action animation, yeah, everybody thought that <laughs> Who Trained Roger Rabbit did it. Nope. Something from 1944 did it first. Aha! But enough about that. Today, we're just gonna talk about Winston McKay. No, I said he made Gertie the Dinosaur and the Secret of Lusitania, which is really. It looks really real. I'll put those in the link below. But what else I'm gonna talk about? <laughs> so you can watch them for yourself. Is something called... Well, before I get all that, let me just say this. These are the only two cartoons that we made. That he made. And when I say, when I say made, I want you to think of, after I say that, that we know of. People could have made them first. Now today I just want to talk about the history of cartoons from Victorian era, 1944, and see where we go from there. Now, you know that thing from Tarzan where he looks into that thing? Yeah, that was considered one of the first animations. Now this video is going to be kind of bundled up, but if you listen to it a couple of times you're going to understand where I'm coming from. So yeah, that was the first ways of animation, but the guy who technically made it first was Windsor McKay. Who even sometimes inserted himself in his own cartoons. Now this was before cell animation and computers, so yeah. Basically what I'm gonna say is, if you did it wrong once, you'd have to erase the entire thing and start again. So yeah, this kinda hurt. Now on his comic strip, Little Nemo. Basically, it's something the Nostalgia Critic did, which was about this boy who almost went to Dreamland, he has the name of the town, I think, and then wakes up. You see, that's where this movie fails, because it thinks that it's laconic. Now, you see, you have to adapt things to animation, but these animators of Little Nemo fail that. Why am I talking about this? Well, because I'm going to talk about the history of cartoons. That's what I was keeping along so long. Long. Yeah. So what I can tell is... There's a lot of our original history of animation lost. I can find Humpty Dumpty... And stuff. That's why I said that we know of. And most of these were made in silent. Yeah, people thought anime was the first way that Americans got introduced to animation. Nope. We had ours first. But let me just clear up a misconception. Because you see, the why I'm talking about Winsor McKay is because he's the man who inspired Walt Disney. Yes. That's why this all goes full circle. And well, from what I could tell, that's the closest I could get from our history of animation. I could talk about many, many more, but... That's where I'm going to start with.
So if this kind of sounds conjumbled, you can try to look it up for yourself. I'm the critic, and I remember it, so you don't have to. Bye!